Let's do this over here. Mm, yeah, let's leave this here. <sighs> nice. We should be coming in. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today's September 25th, 2020. And we're doing a live stream on the good things that are happening in the world. Title the stream. Let's talk about some of the positive things that are happening in the world. Nice and chill. And this sort of came about uh, through a request uh, that was placed on our Discord page because there's a lot of things happening in the world. Um, and the corporate propagandas and certain institutions or organizations like to focus on the negative, but there's a lot of positive. Okay, a lot of positive. So I thought we focus on that. Okay. And uh, see how it goes. And while we wait for notifications to go out uh, for people to start rolling in, um, let me do my little intro. Um, lately, the notifications have been going out a little bit later than usual, I think. Uh, but in general, if you want to know who I am, what my main thesis is uh, for this work that we're doing, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And uh, I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. You can follow the work. And if you do enjoy the content being created here, and if you do have the means, supporting this work through Patreon is a fantastic way to make sure that we continue to do this work. Okay. And for those of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon for a while now, thank you very much for the support. Elder God, toast and butter. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing and we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who've been su supporting this work through twitch through participating through dropping live streams uh subscribing following bits uh everything thank you very much for the show for your support and uh mods thanks for taking care of business Uncle Barry, how are you doing hello chicho and chat holden who's is that four in a row now <laughs> happy to see everyone tonight awesome awesome good evening fast car good evening how are you doing zirik hello hello i'm assuming the notifications have gone out let's check this out i think slowly we get the numbers coming in maybe right I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds VK Parlor Gap and Twitter. Okay. All the links will be in the description of the video and on our social connections all over the place. Okay. All ends out. All notifications out. Awesome. Doing well, brother. Long day of work tomorrow though. Okay. Okay. On a Saturday. Might be uh is it work work or homework? Cheryl, how are you doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. This Friday seems to be interesting. People are having a getting into a little parting mode, to, sort of getting a feel for it. I walked around a little bit fast car. Yep. The restaurant business. Oh, the restaurant business. Oh, yeah. Weekends for you guys. Uh, industry night in BC, where I am, is Monday. So Mondays, there are a fair bit of restaurants that take off during normal times. And that's when the industry people go out and party we used to do a lot of partying on the mondays huckleberry fascar tell me about it brother gonna do distributive uh going to distribute mass for a volunteer service in my neighborhood all day ay 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 well we're doing a happy stream <laughs> maybe put on some music and distribute the mass through music you work in no but i had a lot of friends in the hospitality industry i i was the de facto employee of places that i hung out just because i just became friends with a lot of hospitality people actually i one year i did work in a cigar shop but it was retail it wasn't after hours sometimes sometimes we close the doors and after hour cigar but i did do retail a little bit and it was fun let's do it positivity 
we will be uploading the audio for this live stream for this discussion to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcast so do, for those of you who like to consume these discussions in audio format uh, we're on soundcloud.com uh, and you should be able to access uh, these podcasts through your favorite podcasting platform including spotify we will be uploading this video this live stream to youtube and bit shoot most likely to youtube i can't see the conversation taking us anywhere where we wouldn't be but possibly it possibly could go in that direction <laughs> but most uh most likely it'll go on youtube and uh, it will be on bit and if you want to support this work through youtube and bit you can subscribe follow uh share like turn on notifications guaranteed to get notifications through bit i'm not too sure about youtube there are notifications turned on for some of the people that i follow and i don't get notifications from them anymore okay and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and for those of you who've supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for your support okay aside from that fast call huckleberry as a person who doesn't want to die because people won't wear masks i thank you for your service indeed i had one student today i went and saw that uh, i want to take these down that she was working a retail in a grocery store and she said people were yelling at her for wearing a mask and she was like laughing she's like it's like okay if you don't agree with it why are you telling me about it i'll get fired if i don't wear a mask right so it's weird how people are treating some of this right all in a day's work huckleberry got to love it for positivity dr ron paul is recovering well after a stroke scare this morning yeah yeah i heard and i saw the video um i'm glad i'm glad he was live streaming when that happened because he got care right away which is ridiculously important right that's a positive in the world void hook how are you doing yo let's go lark bark 55 yo chicho evening 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 slick mick 99 i i didn't miss the last video game stream did i we did one uh yesterday 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 for sure and we did a comic book uh stream we've done two video game streams slick mix so far we got one more the last one comes out tomorrow no 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 you haven't missed it the last one we do tomorrow 12 o'clock and i set it for saturday starting at 12 because if it takes us longer than two hours to go through that it takes us longer than two hours to go through that right i have a way bigger window on the weekend <laughs> three-year cashier bus boy assorted tasks and now three weeks manager assistant waiter oh what a time to become a manager damn it's a wild time in our lives it's a wild time in our lives and that is a positive as well right you get to learn a lot you it's crash course in information so that's a huge positive uh, the way i take it anyway and you see the effects in our society there's a lot of people waking up right mr nubby one in uh oh did we lose our stream uh oh we got disconnected uh oh uh oh we got disconnected unfortunate i'll, ch I'll read the chat because i am also recording this so i'll probably just upload the recorded version uh since we're being cut but i'm gonna refresh this guy let's see if we're still back on are we back are we back oh still buffering still buffering connection loss uh oh maybe i have to restart oh frozen up let's check it out let's see obs reconnection successful it gives us little notifications the internet's been acting a little weird lately let's see are we live oh let me turn off the audio on that yeah we're back we should be back fingers crossed back Butch. thought it was just on my end 
not for me reload reload Boop. Boop. yes okay elder god is back i'm back me too me too There we go. Laugh out loud. Fast car. Cheryl. Yeah, everybody's open. Open, close. Open, close. <laughs> we don't get too many of these uh, disruptions. Sometimes we do, I guess. Sometimes we do. Maybe we have a little sip of, by the way, blueberry liqueur. The last batch I made. Okay. This is uh, made in July super delicious like look at the color on that right look at the color on that let's see if we can focus it look at the color on that <laughs> super good i brought the bottle here just in case we need a little top up oh, super good super good insanely delicious doesn't want to focus there you go very good very good <laughs> and I loaded it up with ice for a refill and here's my snacks guys looks lovely and here this is the snacks these are tomatoes from our garden okay uh, I got some breachy, oh, breachies over here. And I have some uh, old, like, cheddar style stuff. And I'm, I went and bought some crackers. Usually I don't buy too many crackers, but we bought crackers this time. We're craving it. And I've been munching on these uh, for a couple of nights just as a snack. Uh, and it's really good. It's fun. Uh, can you taste the alcohol? Very, not as strong it's marinated well this uh this batch here i'll show you the bottle this batch i made in july uh, so insanely good like really really here's the bottle that i made and i this is the first uh so blueberry july half up sugar half cup of sugar okay half up half up sugar <laughs> blueberry july 2020 so it's been about two months i tasted it a little bit last month and it wasn't uh ready enough okay the alcohol flavor was still really strong right now this is blueberry candy dangerous And we're gonna most likely if we don't do a liqueur stream in the next set we'll do a liqueur stream in the following set because we're gonna go through and taste all the liqueurs we made actually it'll probably be in the following set or one more set after because i just made a couple of new liqueurs that um, that i'm gonna wait until they the flavor builds up with it right Aside from that, gang, we're doing positive, right? Positive stream and drinking liqueur is definitely positive. And uh, I think we're back live, but I don't know if notifications went out for the second, second live uh, kick in. Strong both cider drinking here. Pint nine, ninth pint for tonight. Damn, Elder God. <laughs> Not serious. This is my first well it's not an ounce it's not two ounces it's definitely more than that uh so it's a few ounces not cheryl goes nine <laughs> but elder god you start your days early right so nine is what time you start six o'clock and you're 3 30 right now 3 45 so uh one one an hour one an hour 
a pint is like seven beers each yo what no no it's not seven pint is not seven beers a pint is about a beer and a elegant correct me if I'm wrong, a beer and a half or so right so it's more than a beer but 568 mils five so cup cup is 500 mils no cup is more than 500 mils cup is two 16 ounces 16 ounces is a, so how much is a like this would be i don't know what this would be this is way less than 16 ounces a beer plus four ounces a beer plus four ounces okay so beer is 12 ounces right yeah so one and a quarter one and a third ounce but uh, yeah one and a third ounce uh which is pretty serious multiply nine by 1.3 you find out how many beers the elder god is on <laughs> by the way gang positive positive good morning from sunny western australia good morning australia hope you're doing well hope you're doing well i got a list i made a list of positive things just a small list <laughs> okay and I just put this together. I've been thinking about this for a bit. And I put this together, Speedy Gonzalez style, like a couple of hours ago. I just wrote it down. Right. I emailed it to myself a few hours ago and I looked over it and added a couple of more. Uh, frogs are positive. Frogs are positive. Indeed, indeed. Pint is 20 ounces. So 180 ounces in me. A pint is 20 ounces. The English pint is 20 ounces. <laughs> English, you guys are hardcore. <laughs> positivity stream diet thug uh, like i positively do not want to be at work right now or am i missing the mark well here's a positive aspect of it you're at work but we're having a positivity stream which is a good thing it's positive happiness it's always i don't i don't know if i believe in uh, cup is half full but i also don't believe in cup is half empty there's just liquid in the cup so just appreciate what you got right read some comics sitting in the basement comic cave and drinking a tall glass of water positive positive crack very positive very positive imagine me drinking nine mountain dews imperial is my master elder god says huckleberry for me life has been unconventionally positive things have been going right lately and it feels nice even though the environment i'm in isn't the best so i'll take it awesome good way to good way to look at it right great perspective a pint in quebec is called a pitch it pitch it it holds like six to eight beers he scared me when he said nine points six to eight beers okay i take it back um, where are you at quebec you guys are hardcore man hardcore i miss working to be honest uh mr nubby bones says nubby nubby one says things are things are things about it i hate it but working remotely most of the time can be a bummer you gotta hey, uh, mr nubby one you're are you just on the computer always if you just started working remotely at home if you just began working at home you've never done it before it takes a little bit of adjustment right until you realize okay you can't work all the time because you can you could if you wanted to and you can't just slack off all the time so you got to get into a nice little rhythm it may take a little bit of time to do it right for me i've been doing it forever so i i really can't remember how i adjusted myself i started cooking that was one of the things i started going for walks i don't take technology with me most of the time when i go for walks so uh, you have to adjust you have to adjust v62p i have been teaching myself some french and i have found it to be really fun it's a positive for me awesome here Oop. my number two on my list self-education that's a huge positive right huge positive i'm gonna cross this out huge positive right 
London protest tomorrow. Lots of positive people visiting the capital. Elder God. <laughs> He's laughing. I will finish on 13, uh, 13, 15 tonight. 13, 15, please. Damn. Diet like. This week has been one of the busiest, most demanding weeks of my life. And I have to say, it's been blessedly smooth going. Awesome. A lot of tasks needed to be done. Yet, it moved with a wonderfully consistent pace. Awesome. You got into a nice rhythm. Diet thigh. That's one of the greatest sensations ever, eh? When everything's just working out. It's like slow-mo going through doing some kind of task, right? Like everything fits into, fits into place. I have more toilet paper. How are you doing? Question. I had a discussion with my uncle last night. His daughter was born in Thailand, but his parents, my grandparents, are Irish. He was born in England, but he believes that his daughter is Irish, not Thai. I'd love to get your opinion on this. I personally feel she is Thai. If she was born in Thailand, lives in Thailand, speaks Thai, surely she's Thai. I would say it really depends on his his daughter and why does it have to be one or the other? Why not both? Why not three? Why not four? Like, what did you say? You said Irish, English, Thailand. So why not all three? Right? Uh, maybe she's more immersed in Thai right now and later in her life she can go to England and immerse herself, go drinking with Elder God and figure out what it means to down 13 15 pints right and then go to ireland and sit around the bar and now that she knows how to drink talk politics all night long right why not all we're all earthlings right <laughs> mr w1 i sell liquor at a wholesale level so i'm making more money than i ever have as, as covid has increased our numbers by 300 percent so positive but um but what but while i'm making money i have nowhere to enjoy it ah you do first of all keep invest some of it keep some of it cash buy your freedom so bank some of it right and whenever you need to take time off you can take a leave of absence and bugger off for a year and do something right so if you're making lots of money you don't have to spend it right away uh, the other thing you could do is invest it in different places that you want to get the money to work right so not necessarily uh, you shouldn't be spending money as you make it all of it anyway Holy, you taught yourself four languages. Elder God, yeah, he's very fluent. Huckleberry. Toilet paper to toilet paper. I would agree. I think the culture you're you're raised in is equally as important, if not more important, than one's ethnicity. Yeah. Could be, right? Beans. I am so confused of my heritage. I call uh, I call me a Maya Mutt. Hello, beans. <laughs> I think we're all muds, really. And from what I understand, uh, I'm, you know, those of you who are dog owners uh, can tell me if this is true or not. I heard from uh, someone that purebred dogs don't live as long as mutts that have mixes. If that's true, then I'd rather be a mutt than a purebred because I get to live longer, right? Nationality can be any sure heritage Thai like for me I told you guys what I am right I'm West Coast Canadian Armenian heritage born in Iran and for me I'm all three I don't narrow myself to saying Armenian or Iranian or Canadian uh, my my mindset is Canadian I, I've been here most of my life uh, I'm very West Coast Canadian but I also um feel kinship to armenians and iranians and gamers and comic book collectors and, and people who make food and people who garden it's up to us whatever we want to be right king reform what's up man was curious on your thoughts about mail-in voting why not right it really depends right 
depends how the system is set up you got to make sure there's no scams right right now the, the, any that's politics let's keep politics on politics but i'm glad uh, it's a positive that people are asking what's wrong with our systems right positive one of the positives if you want to think political uh people are asking questions why are we voting on voting machines with proprietary software people are waking up right that's a huge positive I'm half Irish, grew up in Liverpool. I can speak for Elder God and say, us English enjoy our pints. Yes, you do. Uh, agree, my dog is bad because of the close breeding for specific traits. It's to do with the genes, right? Good, my bad. Discussion, purebred, can't type what well, i'm thinking purebred or bad. yeah beans i read that i'm like what mud dog purebred dog is bad because of the close breeding for specific traits okay cool 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 that is like american born irish german english here i don't what's second on the list chicho second was self-education should i read you my list i got uh, 14 points here i'm going to read you my 14 points and you guys you guys let us know if there's a lot more Right, and there is a lot more mr number one always ask questions in my opinion the moment you are comfortable is the moment you are in danger of being complicit yeah maldegras in 30 minutes i'm i'm 30 minutes late <laughs> no worries actually the first uh 10 minutes 15 minutes we had a hiccup so the stream broke so we had to wait for people to come in again french canadian blood born in french canada with french canadian ancestors i rarely m met people more proud quebec table <laughs> nice mix of classes and real life chit chat with negative speakers here's my list i'm gonna go through it number one growing food there are more people growing food number two self-education educate yourself more people educating themselves number three uh there's a lot of decentralization taking place even though there is lots of centralization taking place as well people are actively working towards decentralizing themselves from central power very very important we can see it in alternative platforms popping up super super important right there's a lot of focus on community number four right number five to me it's a positive less global travel okay i think it was crazy the way everybody would if they want to take a vacation they hop on a plane fly across the world go crazy spend their money and most of those people haven't even traveled in their local vicinities they have no idea what it's like to be in their own region right so to me it's a positive less global travel there's a lot more focus on the environment right there's a lot more people aware of green spaces now right that was number six i'm going to read a couple of some of the chat let's see what's coming up uh toilet paper expecting my second child this december awesome i've decided to make blueberry liqueur and age for 18 years to share with them <laughs> is it truly as simple as leaving to mature no other uh, maintenance uh, i've never made the jar and closed it for 18 years i always i drink and refill and add sugar so after 18 years i would try it why not right just make sure make sure you have other liqueurs that you can sample that you're not tempted to one day and go oh, look at the color on that gotta drink it right why not growing food I need to get on that elder god you got the space brother if you're not actively drinking out of it that's pretty much the move <laughs> indeed positive vibes positive stream indeed indeed emily how are you doing put your name on the allotment waiting list now to elder god number seven there's a lot more focus on family and friends right number eight there's less globalization people are 
deglobalizing financially, right? And that's a huge positive, right? Because the central power wants us to globalize into their investments. There's a lot of people stepping away from that. Elder God, yes, COVID has put put us in the local tribes, but I'm worried about what it might wake up. Uh, I'm not. I think the stuff was there, right? We need to we need to deal with the BS, right? That goes to my number thirteen. By the way, I'm jumping from number eight to number thirteen, right? People are becoming disillusioned. And that's a positive. That is one of the greatest positives that's occurring. And I sort of got this from an interview Aaron Maté made with his father, Gabo Maté, right? And Gabo Maté made a phenomenal point saying that it's amazing, right, that people are being disillusioned with our current system, right? Because what do you want to be? Do you want to live in an illusion? Do you want to be delusional? Do you want to live in a world and you only get one life as far as we know in this plane right do you want that to be an illusion or do you want to interact with it interact with exactly what is taking place right so i think that's a great thing what's being woken up we need to deal with this we need to deal with this huckleberry chicho totally agree with number seven family friends my neighborhood has become far more cohesive than it has ever been in my lifetime in the last few months yeah it's incredible and it's beautiful to see beautiful to see right mr number one i'm gonna say based on my knowledge in the liqueur industry if you age a liqueur for 18 years i don't know if you will love the outcome alcohol will in the end overpower the flavor of the blueberry so it if you want something more sweet than boozy i i don't think you should age it that long um mr nubby one here's the kicker though when i add the vodka right to the blueberries initially the vodka flavor is strong and as this ages the blueberry flavor takes in i think what's happening is the blueberries become crazy strong the liqueur loses the alcohol flavor so the fruit inside the liqueurs is extremely powerful alcohol flavor but the liquid is like candy that's from my experience <sighs> number nine i'm drinking this elder godspeed number nine complete mistrust of government bankers and wall street holy camoles what a positive what a positive okay <laughs> toilet paper must go short and sweet adios all adios toilet paper by the way gang uh spiritual answer thank you for the follow and those of you who followed my apologies if i don't catch it okay thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh, very much appreciate the support so number nine, extremely important. Most people now understand that our political economic system is a complete farce. Holy camoles, what a positive. Elder God speed would kill a mortal. Elder God says. <laughs> number 10, appreciation for what war really is. I have really, gang, I've been in this business of... Uh, trash talking war not supporting any wars for 30 years right i've never ever encountered a society that is so anti-war now okay in the past when the drums war drums would beat people would be gung-ho to join in right some of us would go you guys are idiots right but then everybody would say oh you just don't understand now when the war drums beat you don't see too many people lined up to go to war right in my part of the world anyway which is canada united states in the u.s i'm not sure what the deal is but in canada there aren't too many people gung-ho about going to war this i've never seen it on this level okay 
feed this frenzy up. OP. I got back in for a second, Uncle Perry. <laughs> Number 11. People are demanding more transparency of power. Okay. Pretty important. Pretty important. At the same time, power is trying to eliminate transparency. But people want it, right? There's been more leaks like whistleblowers and we know this right there's been more leaks most likely in the last 15 years regarding those in power than there has been in the last 40 years okay that has hit the main discourse in the world right we know this because during the Obama administration, they tried to prosecute and they did prosecute more whistleblowers than all the other administrations combined. Right. When power starts becoming draconian, you know, you're doing something right. They are afraid. Very positive. Very positive. OP, I got back in it. Maybe a positive, but the left have more power since COVID. Uh, some of this is stuff is temporary, Elder God. I don't think the left or the right have more power. I think the power is being distributed across the board. Right now, there's a lot of noise and people are freaking out and stuff like this. But how long can they maintain this pace? I don't think they can maintain it long. I think people are slowly waking up. Not slowly, pretty fast waking up. Mr. Nubby One, yes, but over the course of almost two decades, it will self ferment at a level very different than one year. Really, alcohol is ethanol, aka condensed sugar. Over time, the flavor of the blueberries or the sugar will become alcohol. It would be amazing, but it could also be extremely strong. If you want my recommendation, I would say make sure you shake the jar every couple of months so the two don't separate ah very cool very cool okay so i should be actually i do uh, the, my 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 liqueurs uh, the way i've set them up i do sample i do go around and do samples so they do get a little bit of mix but that's a great uh, great advice mr number ones i wish this was happening during a liqueur stream so everybody uh, could read this comment and uh know how to deal with it right as a member of communist party usa it's definitely a positive for me Uncle Barry says <laughs> elder god but if north korea might take advantage <laughs> i don't think north korea i don't think the left really is looking towards north korea as uh there's a symbol of what it means to be uh left-leaning the world still has unknown powers waiting for their moment yeah that i agree with uh, Elder God to Huckleberry. I like communists, at least as a base of finance. Cool, cool, cool. Where were we? More transparency. Uh, oh, yeah. Number 12 was disillusionment. Uh, number 13. People have been sampling a tremendous amount of art since these lockdowns came in right so there's an amazing amount of music coming out there's an amazing amount of independent media coming out we're in a golden age of art okay maybe music maybe uh, paintings drawings stories there's so much ASMR they, there's, there's so much art being created right now and in my opinion we're in a golden age right we're in a renaissance right now and that's a huge positive huge positive and the last one i have here number 14 is cooking there's a lot more people cooking their own food and having a relationship with food is an amazing thing to have and i think in my part of the world people have many people have lost that relationship and they're slowly finding it again and i hope it continues mr nubby one i would also recommend using rum as opposed to vodka as rum is made from cane sugar and will complement the taste 
as opposed to possibly overpowering it okay but rum has its own flavor i find um uh, mr nubby one so i use vodka to uh, to be neutral right i've never used rum so i don't know i just like the taste of rum but rum has is very high in sugar so i don't think i would add my own cane sugar um uh, so i would have to adjust my recipe rum and uh, whiskey and uh cognac i love cognac but i don't know i can't see myself making uh liqueur from cognac huckleberry to elder god i'm not uh all or nothing on any political ideology but as a student of history marxist leninist revolution seems to be a necessary action at this point elder god i was a art fan long before i have seen the mona lisa mona, me too <laughs> or is is it really the mona lisa or is it a copy that they put up because everybody takes pictures behind the plexiglass i went the what is it uh to uh what museum is it uh the roof roof oh man i forgot the name roof oh man it's louvre roof louvre yeah it's huge I spent a day there yeah you could spend like a couple of weeks there it's it's a ton, it's a tony it's a tony it's a tony growing food and gardening at home is much more popular now in addition to home cooking yeah and this is huge positive huge like really so huge so huge oh my god COVID has exposed the danger of bad health and diet huge positive right i see some people getting serious after all after this nice i'm gonna add that diet health improve right I'm gonna add that as number 15 15 diet food health nice yeah gay get healthy stay healthy it's a Tony Huckleberry to it's a Tony my family has been cooking for ourselves almost every night we used to go out all the time but this whole lockdown has forced us to be more culinary self-reliant which has actually been helpful for us nice mr nubby one use white rum oh white rum that's right as opposed to aged or spiced rum stay away from anything aged in a barrel like cognac or aged rum ah okay diet thug says diet you don't mean in terms of just drinking but in terms of as using the base for the liqueurs right yeah like uh, taste of cognac is so strong right so delicious so i can't see using that but white rum yeah i never thought about white rum i don't drink white rum often actually i don't drink rum often anymore really but i like my dark rum i arrived late this list has my interest peak refreshing <laughs> refreshing ideas <laughs> lots of food lots of health lots of decentralization lots of self-education lots of community building uh transparency of power uh, so all of it sort of along those that theme right your point about war is spot on i'm a combat veteran uh, spiritual answer says i'm a combat veteran twice deployed to the middle east nothing good came of it at all it was a scam it was a scam and it always has been and general smetley butler would say all wars are bankers wars and everybody knows this now right most people know this now anyway and that is in large parts thanks to people reading a lot more consuming a lot more information and stepping away from corporate propaganda like the one of the other positives is the average age of network television viewership has been going up every year right every year the last time i looked at it was like i don't know at least eight years ago and the average viewer age of television was like cable television was like 49 or something it was crazy i was like whoa 
right? So good. Elder God, and another good one. COVID has taught us to see our friends and family as a more important part of our lives. Indeed, indeed. I had that one as friends and family as number seven. <laughs> We're on the same page on that one, right? Uh, how compared to uh, spiritual answers? I wish government were not so quick to senselessly waste the lives of good men, but I am grateful for your sacrifice. Spiritual, it changed me. I began to ask the existential questions and pursued self realization. Awesome spiritual answers. That's kind of you, he says to Huckleberry, or she says to Huckleberry, right? Me to my friend. <laughs> Me to my friend, thanks. Ah, oh, that must be a saying in the military, probably. Is it? The elder guy. He, he to my friend. Hi to my friend. Hi to my friend. He to my friend. Me to my friend. What's the saying, gang? Oh, big text came up. Diet thug. This COVID lockdown has made my family more prepared. We have stored uh, stores of our own uh, pressure canned foods and medical supplies, made things like salsa, applesauce, pickled vegetables, and cucumbers. Me and three of my family members purchased a whole cow and split it four ways, free range grass fed, and the farmer butchered and packed it for us. What an amazing, fresh tasting awesome diet thug awesome very cool so the other one would be uh, self-reliance right maybe 16 self reliance uh, prepare prepare preparing yourself prepare preparedness um, what do we call this uh, food safety let's call it food safety food safety mr nubby one white rum is designed to be mixed it is essentially what comes straight out of the uh, still white rum as the base will make it so you don't have to add as much sugar if you age the liqueur for six months or more okay make sure it is white rum though there are clear oh so there's different clear rums that have been added with spices that will change the flavor in a big way okay so not just clear rum white rum thank you for uh the pointers prepared preparedness preparedness food safety preparedness i'm gonna write that down preparedness 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 is better because it also includes medical supplies and other things as well i don't drink anymore but when i did my preference was a good merlot mm, nice diet like getting direct from a farmer is so much better yeah uh you cut out the middleman and have a better sense of what you've purchased yeah and i've done that as well in the past uh which is good which is good uh, the, the kicker is you need a deep freezer you need to you need to uh, be able to store the stuff right um, so we've been actually thinking about getting a deep freezer too I don't know how many of you guys have a deep freezer elder God social issues have been put on the fast track since the lockdown but certain ones have maybe gotten too much attention i agree with that the pendulum is swinging to the extremes right now spiritual answers i, I agree i'm holding out for a, a farm that doesn't use steroids in in my part of the world we're lucky i don't know where you guys are brie and crackers I'm going to pop one of our tomatoes.
that that deep freezer yeah gotta get myself one mr nubby one covid has definitely changed my life in some positive ways i cook almost every night for my family and i get excited by new recipes we eat together almost every night when i was growing up kids went out and played outside as opposed to nothing uh, but video games since covid my neighborhood is booming with children playing again yeah i'm noticing that too in our neighborhood we have like luck would have it whatever it is we're we're in a place where there's kids all around us and they come out and there's a little hill um not a hill a little down slope road so they come up there and they ride their things down they go Wee! and they run back up ah, laughing so there's children and laughter in the neighborhoods huge positive huge positive spiritual answers i'm glad i found the stream this is nice change awesome <laughs> spiritual answers <laughs> welcome to our little corner of the world welcome to our little corner of the world we do a few different things here and j john abo and john abo as a young man how should i balance saving and survival uh, assets in the event of a social upheaval um i wouldn't have my money in wall street uh it, it, we got uh, it's a huge question you're asking uh by the way uh survival assets in the event of a social I mean, it really depends on what level of social are we talking about zombie apocalypse or are we talking about the banking system collapsing run on the banks uh talking about martial law troops on the streets talking about lockdowns right it depends what level um just for you to get an idea we do have a i do have a personal finance playlist on our youtube channel so if you go to the personal finance playlist the first set of videos is a bunch of videos that i outlined planned and i did them in the same mindset so the theme would be there right there's a whole bunch of videos there but start with number one and i list five of the things that are the most important things you should invest in and you can go through that so if you go to our youtube channel here it's a it's a few hours it's like four or five hours if not more the first few videos but it starts off with some of the basics and we get into the economics and stuff uh, and there's a couple of articles in there two or three articles in there that i reference and they're worth reading okay i have about two years of freeze-dried foods oh spiritual answers that's fantastic i have uh we have about two years worth of jam <laughs> and about two years worth of liqueurs <laughs> it's good to have friends and family to split uh, split it with though yeah for sure it would be i don't have any family left but i have a deep freezer nice nice Mr. Nubby One, I can't wait for snow to see my family and the neighborhood come alive the way it was when I was younger. I know I sound like an old man, but I'm in my early 30s. And while I love video games, community is so important and I'm seeing it again. Yeah. Awesome, eh? Fantastic. Well, welcome to the family here, my friend. Diet Thuxus to spirit, uh, Spiritual Answers thanks i will watch the playlist and come back thank you my pleasure my pleasure and uh, if you post questions i'm pretty active i do reply to as many inquiries or questions or discussions as possible i try to anyway two years worth eh? <laughs> spiritual answers laughs elder god uh, a lot of the people have told me that they have found old hobbies they forgot since the lockdown yeah that's great finding old hobbies elder god we're adding that to the list very nice very nice 18 finding old hobbies old hobbies number 19 cleaning house <laughs> C 
cleaning house. <laughs> Gina, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, are you in radio, Chicho? No, no. I'm in education. I teach uh, privately mathematics and physics. The squirrels near my house have about two years worth of stolen <laughs> tomatoes, Cheryl says. I found some squirrels been hitting my tomatoes as well. The damn squirrel. <laughs> Spiritual hobbies, yes. I started collecting 19th century uh, tint tin types. Weird, I know. But I enjoy it. Tint types. What's tint types? Like tin cans and logo stuff? Tint types. Cool. Huckleberry, Cheryl. Oh my god, my dad and I have a peach tree in our front yard and we have I have to spray the squirrels with a hose to have any peaches left for us to eat all oh, man. Squirrels are going crazy. The squirrels raid the in our part uh, in our garden. The first year we're here we got lots of uh, figs. Second year we got half the figs. And for the last three years, all the figs are gone because the squirrel keeps on eating them. And they don't even eat them. They take a bite and do drop it. It's like, damn. What are tin types? Die Thug says. Yeah, I want to know too. Sikcho. My wife is a teacher. <clears throat> oh, Chicho, my wife is a teacher. My degree is in philosophy and theology, but I host a radio show. Ah, no way. You host a radio show. Also. Welcome, welcome. That's great. Yeah, I teach mathematics. I make math videos. I have them online, and I do online and uh, like one-on-one -on -one sessions. And we do drop-in math tutoring sessions. <clears throat> and I've been doing this uh, privately for like twenty years, right? I love it. Love it. Gina, Netflix and chill. Nah, bro. Spotify and spring cleaning. <laughs> awesome. Tin types are early prototype that were preceded on cheap tin. Oh, <clears throat> so it's a special before tin, tin types. So it's metal metallurgy. It's some kind of metal that they used to produce, right? that's cool so they made lunch containers and like what year are you talking about like how far back does it go all oh, photographs no no oh, no photographs or no photographs oh you can't type okay i gotta catch up to it oh tin types are early photographs that were preceded on cheap oh photograph like skip the word photographs so you're collecting old photographs what year what uh, uh 1800s i'm assuming the fbi is on their way to you for what <laughs> nick people have found self-enlightenment since lockdown 100 days in the dark you can't hide from yourself very good self-enlightenment self in light looking yourself in the mirror looking yourself in the mirror so reanalyzing your lives i like that true that brother lots of people i know are crush questioning their sexualities and or gender identities <laughs> huckleberry says math is just one of those things that beats me the spiritual answers you got ripped off they didn't teach it properly really mr nubby ones finding out hobbies for sure i used to hunt as a younger man and when meat shortages started happening i started hunting again it can be a, a controversial topic but my family and i use it as a means to be more self-sustaining 
I got, I just got 90 pounds of various cuts of deer that I'm sharing with my immediate and extended family. So much love over something so oh, awesome, awesome. I wish I could get some. Photos printed on tin using a special emission. Think U.S. Civil War, 1820 to 1870. Very cool emulsion, uh, uh, Cheryl says. So are they expensive? I have about 30 tin types. So are they expensive? Spiritual answers? I like that. Back to basics. Chicho, cider wakes up the mind. <laughs> Elder God, Anakin, seven thousand. How are you doing? Are most American school teachers even capable of teaching math properly? Um, if they're math teachers, I hope so. But our central education system uh, is not set up uh, to provide education. So I've I've had a lot of students that have horrendous math teachers. Gina, body acceptance is so important. I'm a 42-year-old trans woman, and I really learned to love my body during lockdown. Awesome. Spiritual answers. I was fortunate that my MOS, military occupation, didn't require any higher math. They can be expensive depending on the subject matter of the photo. Oh, so civil war pictures would be crazy expensive so it really depends what's on the what's on the picture very cool are we talking hundreds or thousands i love to see some if you can't post them chicho has a discord yeah spiritual answers i have a few on my instagram uh post uh, your link up on our discord your instagram page uh, we'll go take a look. Oh, I, I thought that's worked. Do I have a favorite system with down album? Hmm. No, <laughs> I like them all. Civil War, anywhere from 500 to well over a thousand. And they must be rare, eh? As far as System of Down goes, by the way, there's only like three, two System of Out, System of Down songs that I don't like, and they were in the uh, later albums. I like their whole library, really. I wrote a review of System of Down's music. Roy's Our Boy, 1996. If you go to my site, uh, just or just go to duck, duck, go and go chicho system of a down review it'll bring up the article that i wrote and that article that i wrote when i wrote it in 2005 there was a system of a down fan page that took my article review of system downs music as one of the reviews they posted on their site so there was like rolling stone metal magazine thrasher so all the top names of music people and then chicho <laughs> i was like the only independent music review <laughs> that they had on their site it was cool <laughs> i went pretty hardcore on it man dr p greetings blessings I thought, dude, Chicho, you remind me of the lead singer system. But <laughs> where's our little emote? <laughs> where's our surge emote? There it is. You mean this guy? Dush. <laughs> that cheese cracker tomato combo. So tasty. So tasty. Worm. So tasty. Mr. Nummy One. Not trying to bring the vibe down, but one thing I am struggling with is being around my grandparents. My grandfather taught me to hunt as well as help teach me 
to be a man. My grandmother taught me to love and forgive. They are now in their 80s and can't hug them. It's a real struggle for me as we are a hugging family. Mr. Nubby One, you still have a grandfather and a grandmother. And do they are they mentally still there? And are they healthy enough? Dude the positive is amazing like for me too my grandmother you know i'm not seeing her as often to play backgammon and stuff like this uh and i miss her but i call her every day are you talking to your grandparents every day you should call them every day if you're not it eases the uh the pain i guess a little bit of separation but uh they're healthy you got grandparents or both of them or if, i'm assuming you have four maybe old school hollywood yeah old school hollywood i'm not a huge fan of <laughs> you knew what system without fan i like this stream oh for sure dude i went to system without one of the concerts man one of the greatest concerts i've ever been to really the energy was spectacular and have looped their music <laughs> Like, read that article that I wrote. Go Chicho System of a Down review. There's an article on my page that goes to Blockspot. It's a good article. And I and I actually have a video out. Uh, and it'll be in that page uh, sharing the story of the first time I heard about System of a Down. It was at a party with this metal kid. Loved it. Namasta, Dr. P. <laughs> Dr. P. Spiritual answers. I was a, a demolitionist. Disarm minds work with C4. Damn. Praise be Cheryl. <laughs> Dr. P says. Nah, 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 it's like laughing at the Chicho, Chicho system of doubt thing. Uh, by the way, who made this? Elder God, do you know? Did you make it? Old school Hollywood is the only system with now track. I'm not crazy about. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the case for most people. That I, I mean, it's very Hollywood, right? They're from LA. They're Armenians from LA, so I can relate to them because I'm Armenian, and they're very into their scene. So to me, it was. It, it, I guess they were trying to make it personal or whatever, but it didn't flow like the rest. I was a combat med, medic in 90. Okay. Ramk, UK. Nice to meet a fellow veteran. Toes, how are you doing? Hey, what's up, Chicho? Doing good, brother. Same to you. I was so young when I was in seems a lifetime ago elder god says fun fun <laughs> salute gang i want to pour myself another drink my grandparents mr nubby one my grandparents are still of good body and mind and very healthy but they both have compromised immune system grandpa with a pretty aggressive heart condition and grandpa uh, with uh, lifelong glaucoma i talk to them pretty often but to be honest talking to them always makes me tear up i haven't hugged my grand grandmother in almost a year oh wow and i uh and i uh and i when talk to them inevitably i'm reminded of that fact okay and by the way tearing up is not a bad thing that is a positive thing that says a lot about your relationship and who you are and who your family is and what you've had in life that's amazing really and i know it's sad but uh there are times when uh as i've gotten older uh, situations that i've had that have been very traumatic and sometimes thinking about them they tear me up and afterwards i feel amazing because they it brought back an intensity into my life that i thought had dissipated but it is still there right 
So that's my connection to that emotion, to that experience. Uh, so to me, even though like sadness is not ne necessarily uh, bad, right? Spiritual answer is on 53. I did 10 years active, 10 years active reserve. Whoa, spiritual answer is huge. Roy's our boy, 1996. Thanks for your service, guys. Toes, damn, bro. Not gonna lie, I got I got laid off today. Oh, toes. I'm sorry to hear that. Look around, see what else you can find if you need it, and if you have enough money saved. And that's one of the things that we've talked about to get financial independence. You should have a little basket of dough, right? To have as reserve so if you lose your job you can still maintain your life reduce your expenses by the way big time you can still maintain your life uh, and that way you you can pick from opportunities that come you're not forced to take the first opportunity that comes your way right okay what about political awareness elder god spiritual answers for sure i think we have political awareness um I, I listed it as uh, <laughs> my for me elder god if we're talking about the positives my number nine was complete mistrust of government bankers wall street so how about political and economic awareness so i'm gonna rename that and call it political and economic awareness political and economic awareness awareness i like that better nice awesome good 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 spiritual answer i joined at 18 and was discharged in my 40s whoa they pulled a bunch of us out of control group to cycle through the middle east due to shortage of truth yikes is that a good thing looking at some streamers i would say can someone provide a link to the discord Oop, there it is awesome thank you Cheryl what is your secret to staying so calm and balanced um, I don't allow corporate propaganda to send me on a frenzy right when I was younger they could rile me up but what I did is decide that the little things in life don't matter right it's the bigger picture not that they don't matter but they shouldn't affect your emotional s state of mind right so I look at the long-term game at play right there are things that piss me off there's no doubt there are things that affect me but those are more short-term right they don't get me in a mood ruin my day like I like I don't understand when I meet people when they say you know oh there was a scratch on my car it ruined my day or scratch on your car ruined your day god what an emotional creature you are <laughs> right <laughs> so don't let those little things get to you keep your eyes on the prize and slowly you start going hey we get that right that's one of the things I also collect comic books. That's fantastic. <laughs> it keeps me calm and balanced. I've been laid off a couple of times, Toes. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Having a nest egg is super important for if you lose your job, indeed. Mr. W1 Chicho, you couldn't be more right. Family is the most important thing in life, and my grandparents and parents taught me that. COVID has taught me and I think others not to look past what we often dismiss. Very good. Toes, Chicho, yeah, bro, I didn't see it coming, but I see what you mean. I should have been prepared. Yeah, Toes. And that go, you, you learn that. Like I've gone through periods that, oh, crap, I need to scramble now, right? So, uh, you need to scramble you learn from your mistakes right 
so it's okay take it with stride right Gina not sure if you have it on the list but I came to the conclusion that being a being in another human beings physical presence is a privilege oh nice appreciation for other uh, social interactions appreciation of social interaction should we call it that appreciation of social physical let's say physical physical interaction awesome Gina yeah very much so very much so right nice shot shot done laugh out loud I'm almost 30 now and what uh, what you said just opened my mind thank you and you're right the little things are what rile me up the most thank you my pleasure shot done and they used to do me too it's just a learning process right really the the number that our current political economic system has played on our societies on us is unforgivable right so once you wake up once you realize what's going on you can't forgive them for what they have done because they're continually doing it the only thing you can do is sever your relationship with them right on every level and that goes into personal finance and politics and we keep that away <laughs> Zabrowski I always admire people who let things just slide off them yeah and I'm not successful all the time gang really I try but we're human we make we falter right so don't uh, hold yourself accountable right be pissed off that you stumbled and you lost your cool but the more you do that the less you will lose your cool okay just post a link to my Instagram awesome thank you very much spiritual answers play it martin thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate it and gang again thank you for the subs thank you for the follows yes i get all the links in general yeah what are we doing we're talking about happy things here's a happy thing crackers cheese and tomatoes <laughs> uh my own tomatoes that we grew in the yard i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the strong cheese and tomato Here's another type of tomato. It's a round one. Cheryl, while tucking in the kiddo a while ago, I asked him what he thought was positive. He reminded me of that, of the changes to live music and cool new opportunities, like seeing a concert at a drive-in nice uh, alternate forms of consuming art entertainment alternate forms alternate forms of consuming or enjoying entertainment enjoying entertain awesome you got a smart kiddo there <laughs> I'm running out of room <laughs> what part of us are you in time zone to spiritual answers Roy I boys is anyone getting the Super Mario 3d uh, all stars games is he releasing a new one shotgun looks delicious so fresh so fresh so good the squirrel loves it <laughs> oh i forgot to pour myself a new drink spiritual answers just thinking again about math while i studied philosophy and do very well in the field it used to be that you had to study math before you could study philosophy that's the classical greek approach yeah spiritual answers yeah indeed and I think that's a good thing to tell you the truth but I like math right my July 
2020 blueberry liqueur. Okay, that's enough. Usually put more ice in there, but we're low on ice. Spiritual answer is my son is a math whiz. He's doing college level math that simply leaves me stunned. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, regarding Mario. Oh, hold on. I'm going. Da, da, da. Greek approach. Light after dusk. Positive things is that I noticed a lot more people are on the internet and I'm meeting chatting with a lot of interesting people who didn't have time to use the internet before awesome that's cool east coast horny <laughs> hooray. hooray not horny sorry cheryl i read that wrong to your spiritual answers uh roy our boys it's a it's a port of mario super mario 64 sunshine and galaxy is part of it so it's an ex it's the next level that's cool. East time zone anyway. For the switch. Oh, it's for the switch. Okay. Okay. Gino's asking about the Mario game. Light after I met a nice friend who would uh, work a lot and now they are streaming awesome oh yeah so good so good where are you from chicho shatan says and i sense some sort of european wisdom may i ask um i was born in iran armenian ancestry most of my life west coast of canada and I lived all over Canada. I've gone all over Canada and huge chunks of the U.S. and traveled a little bit uh, outside of Canada, United States as well. Uh, so, yeah, there is some European, I guess. It requires one to know how to think, which is a rare skill. Mr. Nubby ones. I love tomatoes so much. Growing up, everyone had a garden and sharing food was the simplest form of community. People are doing that again. I have a garden in my backyard again. And the other day, a neighbor brought me some fresh corn, nice, and squash. And I gave her some tomatoes and bell peppers. So much positivity. Thank you for the stream tonight, Chicho. My pleasure, Mr. Nubby One. Awesome. Super Mario Galaxy is cool. It's like a release of all three games. It's like a re-release of all three games. Very cool. Chase 26, what is your favorite liqueur? Um, I There are certain liqueurs I drink more of. I drink a lot of the lemon, blackberry, I like cherry. So lemon, blackberry, cherry, and strawberry uh, I've been drinking more of. Lemon, I, lemon is, is a must-have. Uh, lemon is a must-have strawberry is insanely good blueberry is so good like i am in canada too shutdown says east coast though east coast we're in the east coast i've been to every i tr i before nunuit became nunuit i used to i used to be able to say i've been to every province and territory including labrador Right. as because i did geophysics so i traveled all over all over canada doing geophysics love pei i went to the maritimes all of them i was in ontario but now um, nova scotia nice nice i went to school in ontario and i trekked around nova scotia the liqueur is fantastic gina 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 are you making liqueur yet? Gina, what are you making? Roy, I boys, you're Western Canada. Alberta or BC? More crackers and cheese. 
I love apricot. I made some apricot liqueur. I got two jars of apricot liqueur going. I tasted a little bit. Tastes pretty good. The apricot is delicious. This is the first time ever making apricot liqueur. You're in Calgary. Ah, roll that boy. I lived in Calgary for like five months, six months. I've, I've gone to Calgary a lot doing geophysics. And for one period, I was there on a project. Uh, they were decommissioning uh, native land. The military was decommissioning native land. So I worked on that project doing geophysics for six months. I, I had a lot of fun in Calgary, man. But it was enough. It was enough. It wasn't the West Coast, like BC-wise. Uh, I didn't enjoy the stampede. I found it. I didn't enjoy it. Amazing people, by the way. Amazing people, Roy. Like phenomenal people so friendly so friendly and man calgary you guys got some amazing food the best korean food i've eaten anywhere calgary i don't know if the restaurant's still there and i ate korean food in toronto as well and vancouver's got pretty good but calgary this one restaurant was so phenomenal man and man cowboys what was it 25 cent beers when i was there this is insane. Canada is a very interesting country to me as an American. I've never met a Canadian that wasn't at least polite. If you hang around long enough, you'll meet them. And it depends on our mood, right? Play it, Martin. How long do you let the liqueur rest after mixing before it's ready to drink? This one, uh, the blueberry, I made in July, so we're in September, right? So this one was two months. Uh, I tasted it last month and it wasn't perfect yet. The strawberries are ready to go within two weeks. Two weeks, three weeks, super delicious. Longer, even more delicious. So anywhere between a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, or about two, three months. hour and 15, 16 minutes we've been on stamp it is overrated really overrated i was just gonna say our food is great here very good very good where was the restaurant man i can't remember the streets is it 17th street um uh, it was downtown it was in a little strip thing it wasn't a strip thing it's just uh you could park in it uh, and i forget what the name was this was in 98 so i doubt if the restaurant's still there um, and 98 and we, actually 99 2000 uh you know 98 to 2000 uh, i was there and so oh man i'm craving korean food now dang toronto was like the u.s in my opinion of a new york city mentally mentality uh in Lord downtown yes but sprawl like la so toronto is like a new york los angeles type of place where downtown core toronto is like new york and i've been to new york is very much like new york and then when you sprawl out it's like la and i've lived downtown toronto two summers i lived in downtown toronto super fun oh actually one summer downtown toronto another summer in the suburbs i had a korean neighbor who used to cook for me all the time she was alone so i guess she adopted me the absolute best homemade kimchi I've ever had yeah you get a korean cook that you can sample their food you're a lucky human being okay i think i know the place across the street from uh, westbrook mall is in westbrook I, man it's a blur it was phenomenal it would this is how good it was when i was there working i had about five six people that i was managing they were collecting data for me and i was collecting data I was processing their data so i was on in charge on charge uh, in charge of the geophysics branch of it right so i had these people working for me and once a week at least i would take them all okay and we go eat korean food on the house right and i would just expense it to the company right so once a week we went there for six months basically sometimes twice a week 
and I treat everybody to Korean food, or the company would treat everybody to Korean food. I treated them so much. Sometimes the uh, one time the HR people came to me, the finance people, and said, "Hey, Chicho, listen, uh, this is ridiculous. You can't, you can't do this." I go, "Look, man, my people work hard. I treat them well. They're working hard. The, you know, they're working multiple hours. They need to eat well. They're exhausted at the end of the day. They're like, well, we we can't we can't charge it to the, to to the people." we're working uh, for i said we'll charge it against the company our own company they said we can't do that i go you know what okay charge it against me and the person was like what i go i'll pay for it <laughs> and then a couple of times they charged it against me and i just wrote other expenses to write that off like bureaucracy right that korean food need needed to be eaten <laughs> now i know your gen x elder god to spiritual answers that is just how I think. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, play it, Martin. All right. That is phenomenal. Not as long of a process as I thought. I'll, I've bought vodka, and I am going to make my own as soon as I get some jars. Awesome. And we have a, a liqueur playlist, by the way, right? I, I hope you know those videos, right? So if you go Chicho Liqueur in DuckDuckGo or something, You'll find us making liqueur playlists, and you can see how I end up making them. Very simple, very simple. Expense report laundering. <laughs> Duck time. You have to, right? Otherwise, these major engineering companies, they try to screw you over, right? Crazy. This person, I'm not conservative, but I guess you would say I'm traditionalist oldie enough was it a curry bar yeah you could do barbecue there as well the the restaurant owner was the chef that partnered with someone and the chef had come there from a five-star hotel in seoul korea that he just wanted to move from korea so he came to calgary and set up the restaurant there so he was a five-star korean chef from one of the top hotels in seoul korea that opened up that restaurant man so good make me hungry for bulgogi bulgogi japje <laughs> kimchi <laughs> kalbi <laughs> Pipimpap. Those are some Korean dishes. Mr. Nubby Ones, do you have any winter cold liqueurs that warm you with a little more booze, but also spices like cinnamon, nutmeg? If so, you still have time. So lovely in the winter months. Yeah cinnamon stick liqueur is amazing and actually i gotta go get some vodka we got some cocoa nibs i want to make some chocolate liqueur as well that i haven't done before all money is completely fabricated fractional reserve banking dr p yeah. <laughs> just reshuffle from here to there and create new ones play it martin i know them and watch some that's where i got the inspiration so thank you a lot my pleasure and happy liqueuring i'm a former chef kenny says nice kenny roberts 84. the one i'm thinking of is bao bo bulgogi house okay if you walk in this is, this is what the place looked like you walked in and they had their table set up but they had it was one of the old school korean style one of the old school systems that they set up and they also had booth not booth but a room set up where you could just go get the rooms so it was like a high-end place it was a higher end place and it was so good and i ate at some of the other korean places too and they were pretty good but that one was the top the man the legend smith that were you doing my favorite cuisine is indian yeah spiritual answers if you can get good indian food homemade indian food is the best if you're lucky enough to know someone right man 
Cheryl to W1. I found a recipe for gingerbread liqueur using young ginger, some spice, and uh, molasses instead of cane syrup. I'm definitely making some in the next week or two. Nice. Let us know how it is, Cheryl. Month 24. I joined recently for the first time. Thanks for the stream. I'm from San Francisco san francisco and i'm happy and i'm so happy for the crystal clean air this week and a slight breeze i spent time outside reading up against it oh man yeah the air cleared up here as well um uh, month 24 and uh, i went for a walk today as well Oof, so glad the smog is uh not smog but well i guess is, what do you call it the the fires have died down a little bit and we had rain here lots of rain so that's super good super good i'm glad it's clearing up down there never really had korean food oh kenny roberts korean food is fantastic it's my favorite asian food uh it's powerful it's powerful You're making me, <laughs> Roy says, Roy says, uh, you're making me want to try this Korean uh, place's food. I'm going to need to try some uh, more restaurants in town. Nice. I've never succeeded with the chocolate liqueurs. They're either too cocoa or too boozy, but I keep trying. I bought a whiskey barrel before COVID and I'm making wine with it at the moment, but I might try chocolate after that. Okay. I've never tried. It's just something we want to do, so we'll see how it goes. Spiritual answer, stress article. Wow, Indian cuisine is just delicious. Alo, alo vindalo is my favorite dish. Uh, the spicier, the better. Ooh, Kenny Roberts. Rain clears the air for sure, indeed. Dr. P. Chicho, the longest length of time you have gone without consuming animal products. It, is cheese considered animal products it is yogurt not long a day eggs yeah like yogurt cheese fingers crossed i'll post in discord okay the recipe cool 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 molasses adds so much flavor as opposed to syrup i imagine animal uh i imagine ooh, where to go i imagine it will be amazing Nice, yeah, for sure, sure. I'll save. Zaprowski, twelve hours, twelve hours <laughs> without animal products. I started my cooking career in my dad's aunt's Cantonese restaurant. I know how to make all that stuff. Oh, Kenny Roberts, damn. Okay, gang, I'm. I really want Korean or uh, Chinese or Japanese food now. Gotcha. Just so curious yeah uh has it been made me you know maybe 24 hours two days max dr p without animal products really it would have to be weekend at barney haha <laughs> chicho i was having some of your comic book vids in the background till i checked discord and noticed you were streaming nice welcome welcome we're doing a good news happy happy live stream i guess positive things in the world brie and crackers very good i'm gonna save the tomatoes for the really strong cheese and of course salute There was one person that was uh, looking forward to this positive stream, which is Coolio, one of our mods, but he didn't make it. I'll upload this. Uh, well, we'll upload this and uh, he can watch it on the upload on BitChute and YouTube. Kenny Roberts, Bream Mix, good deep fried cheese sticks. Good deep, I've never tried it you you cut it and 
surround it with uh, breadcrumbs and deep fry it oh very spicy general tea sauce chicken yummy oh i want some bulgogi some uh some bibimbap is really good Mr. Nubby ones, the burst of tomato flavor is one of the great simple things in life. A little sea salt and cracked pepper, nothing better. It is, just go. Yeah, you drudge it in on flour, then eggs, and then in panko. Panko, what's a panko? So you put it in flour and then eggs? Or you do eggs and then flour. Dr. B, some positive things. Hmm? The progression of organic matter and technological integration <laughs> is inevitable. Fight against it or begin to integrate and allow for the progression to um, cook in even further. You could go both ways, I guess. <coughs> elder god to spiritual answers quote do not pray for an easy life pray for the strength to endure a difficult one from the punk from the punk comment haha do not pray for an easy life pray for the strength to endure a difficult one serious business japanese breadcrumbs oh japanese breadcrumbs that's what panko is so panko is japanese breadcrumbs cool so so can uh, Dredge it, dredge it on flour, then eggs, and then panko. Ah, Japanese bread. So you layer the breadcrumbs with just breadcrumbs, egg, and then spicy. Very good. We can have Barney's. Chicho, I have begun my weight loss this week and have started dropping my calories intake from 2,700 to 1,600. Cool just make sure you don't over overdo it uh, weekend at barney's just keep it consistent right and initially the odds are you won't see it'll go in steps right you probably know this already so it's not going to be linear like this it'll go up and then you'll stay one level and then whoop. so body has to adjust right zbrowski looking looking forward to a month-long vacation somewhere tropical usually southeast asia was always a positive for me very nice ah oh, that's a bruce lee quote really do not pray for an easy life pray for the strength to endure a difficult one very nice bruce lee knows where it's at uh, polar bear pink hi chicho first time in your stream what are your thoughts on kundalini Kun Kun Kundalini. I don't know what Kundalini is. That's yoga meditation, isn't it? Kundalini. I know that name. Kundalini. Why does that ring a bell? Kundalini. Kundalini. I don't know. I forget what that is. Tell me what that is. Kenny Roberts. I'll post a video in your Discord for you. Oh, awesome for the for the cheese uh, cheese sticks. Mister Nubby ones. Grow up on a fried green tomato this time of year made it for the family last night that and dear chili and roasted brussels sprouts the whole family enjoyed and fell asleep after i feel so calm nice and by the way i tried making fried green tomatoes once the reason i tried making fried green tomatoes i didn't know that was it was a thing i watched the movie fried green tomatoes i think it was called fried green tomatoes with kathy bates wasn't it how do you it's not just cut green tomatoes and fry them i tried it it didn't it wasn't very good is there a trick to it and i like making ripe green uh red tomatoes i do fry them that's really good uh 
Da, 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 da. Do you like Queens of the Stone Age? They're a pretty good band. I've li I used to listen to them a long time ago. I can't remember which songs they had though. Spiritual answer, Chicho. Have you ever had Mol Verdi? I don't know. I'm bad with names, brother. So, is it Indian food? I've tried a lot of different Indian food, so maybe I have, uh, like the stews, but I don't know. Chicho, Barney's is under great uh, supervision. Barney's is under great supervision. Barney, that's great. I wish you the best, but I'm curious. What is the rush? Oh, where's Barney's? What did Barney say? Doop. What's Barney up to? Chicho, I have begun my oh weight loss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's under great supervision. Okay, elder guy, you gotta take him care of. Awesome. Good, 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 good. You're in good hands, Barney. <laughs> That's great. I wish you the best. Uh, but I'm curious, what is the rush? Jeez. Call 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 my hobo, but I made a cherry pie today. Oh Smith cherry pie. Very good. Yum. I want some cherry pie and feta cheese now. Spiritual answer is one of my favorite quotes. Quote, modern man is a prisoner who thinks he is free because he refrains from touching the walls of his dungeon. Haha. <laughs> End quote. Nicholas Gomez Davila, philosopher. Cool. Polar bear pink. Kundalini in hindu is a form of divine feminine energy believed to be located at the base of the spine and that's why i went to uh, uh that's why i heard it in the maladhara it is an important concept in shiva tantra i took a tantra course uh just a weekend tantra and i have some friends that do tantra and uh, and whatnot right uh where it is uh, believed to be a force of uh, or power associated with the divine feminine or the four uh, formless aspect of the goddess a spiritual awakening i began my spiritual journey in 2013 when my kundalini, kund kundalini had awakened polar bear pink awesome i found a tantra meditation that i took the course it was a meditation it was a tantra course uh, that i took for the weekend it was pretty good i liked it uh, for me i can honestly tell you uh, the feminine uh, the feminine touch uh, the feminine energy that touched me that awakened my understanding of what the feminine is was salvia divinorum and that we can talk about at another stream or set of streams pure feminine never felt that before in my life until that mr nubby one cut the tomatoes thick and very oh this is fried green tomatoes cut the tomatoes thick and very lightly bread uh and cook in a cast iron pan no oil on high heat and then medium when sizzling cook until crispy i did it totally wrong i didn't use breadcrumbs and i used oil uh, so cut them very hold on cut the tomatoes thick and very lightly bread them and cook in a cast iron pan no oil on high heat and then turn it down to medium when sizzling cook until crispy okay if i get my hands on some green uh, tomatoes we have some but right now we're growing the little tomatoes uh so uh I'll have to grow brick tomatoes next year. I hope I remember how to do this. Spiritual answer, Chicho. That one is a Mexican dish. Oh, it's a Mexican dish. I've eaten a lot of Mexican too, so I don't. I don't know if I've tried that one. It doesn't ring a bell. I posted my shrimp fried rice pick in your Discord. Oh, damn, gang! I'm getting crazy hungrier here. I'm, I'm craving some like deep fried, like or fried food. Yo, what's up, guys? Dragons, how are you doing? We can have Barney's. Quite honestly, no rush. I simply switch from dropping junk food and eating less. Plus, I switch now to one weekly cheat day uh, for my heart's content. Awesome. That's super good, actually, having a cheat day. I was watching Monte Cristo earlier. 
Hello, Spider-Man. Hello, hello. I'm late. Whoops, no worries. We've been having a good time. It's a good... We should do more happy streams. <laughs> Actually, our comic books, cooking, most of our streams are happy. My wife is from Mexico, Spiritual Answer says, but her family is actually from Spain. Spanish Jews, to be exact. Cool. So that's not a... Uh, Spanish Jewish recipe, the food. It's a, it's a Mexican dish. It's a Mexican dish. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Mexican dish. Polar bear pink, amazing. Spider Man, I'm great. Just watched the movie with the missus, and now I'm ready uh, to feel the happiness here. Nice, nice, nice. Oh wow, we're almost at the end. I just checked the time. We're almost up to two hours time flies fried pickles i've never made fried pickles man i gotta try fried pickles uh for me what would be my top three books or authors to read on life uh c.s lewis would be one uh krishna morty uh, specifically all uh, c.s lewis i've read the most is the author that i've read the most of so C.S. Lewis, uh, almost anything. Uh, and then Krishnamurti, the only book. I've read a lot of articles on Krishnamurti, but I would say read e extremely important read book. Gang, if you haven't read this book, read it. It's a very small book. Krishnamurti, Education and the Significance of Life. Okay. Krishnamurti's Education and the Significance of Life. Ridiculously important book to read. Okay. And... Uh, third book dune frank herbert's dune just speedy gonzalez style no fried food spider-man's tummy doesn't agree i changed my diet too this time last year i was 130 pounds heavier wow kenny that's good on you man 130 pounds lighter that heart must be really relieved right Mr. Nubby wants the tomatoes have plenty of juice, so oil is unnecessary. The juice bleeds into the uh, breading and then caramelizes. Oh, it can take some time to perfect it, but so worth it, really. Okay, must try. The dish is Mexican. Okay, spiritual answers. Caramelizes the breadcrumbs. Very nice spiritual answers thank you very much for the tier one sub thoughts on the new dean movie trailer i liked everything about it except paul <laughs> he looked like a spoiled little brat but i guess he, he was he would be he's a he's a prince right so i'm assuming most princes would be spoiled little brats so he looked a little too young i'm a c.s lewis fellow spiritual answers yeah c.s lewis uh it's i've read the most book books on uh, C.S. Lewis is fantastic. Another person would be worth reading would be. Uh, uh, anyway, no, we'll leave it there. Stress and being a chef was a bad combo. Bad combo indeed. Shut, shut down. Hey Chicho, what do you think about the alien evidence that the U.S. government has released? I don't trust anything coming out of the U.S. government. I think, or any government, I think it can be a positive moving forward if they have discovered technology that can help us prosper as a human race. Here's the kicker. If they have, they ain't going to share it with us, right? Um, <laughs> that's the kicker, right? But I agree with you. More people becoming more aware that we are not alone on this, on this, in this universe, obviously, is a positive outcome for sure for sure i never read the dune book or see the movie which character plays him um it's the young young boy in the book he was 16 so it's accurate it is it is it is the kicker laugh out loud true i believe paul is uh, 15 in the novel 
Are we still uh, raiding Area 51? Or that is it? No, no raiding 51. Area 51. Keep in mind, if voting did anything, they wouldn't let you do it. Have you read anything from Peter Kraft? I don't think so, Spiritual Answers. His name is something like Timothy uh, Charlement. This is a Dune guy. Timothy Claire Cla Clement. Oh, okay. Got you. I figured. He's a really good actor. Is he a good actor? I hope so. The, the other stuff looked good. Okay. The new movies. And yes, him. Okay, it is him. Gang, let's call the stream. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. Thank you for all the advice on all the great things that are happening in the world. Dr. P, peace and love. Um, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Such a great stream, Chicho. Got to take my pup for a walk. Good vibes. Good vibes, Mr. W1. Everyone, and a great night. Family and friends is everything. Peace to you all. Peace to you guys all. Love you, Chicho. Love you guys as well. I enjoyed this. I, I will be back. I hope so, Kenny Roberts. And thank you, gang, for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the discussions. Uh, when is the next stream? We're going to do one tomorrow. We're, we're going to go day three of my comic book collection at 12 p.m. PDT my time and on Sunday we're doing a comic book reading okay so we've got two more streams scheduled it was a seven uh, stream streams that I scheduled and we did eight I think it was seven or six and we did an extra one yesterday comic book hall one okay Dr. Cheese thank you very much for the tier one sub great stream have a great rest of your night for sure you guys as well gang gang if you want to know who I am I'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike for those of you supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support we're live streaming on Twitch. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, mods, thank you for taking care of business. And everyone, thank you for the discussions, follows, and the subs. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds, VK Parlor, Gab, and Twitter. All the links will be in the description of this video and on our social networks. And we do share as much as uh, we can on those platforms as well. We will be uploading the audio for this live stream on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o as a podcast, and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And we will be uploading this video both to BitChute and YouTube. And if you want to support this work on those platforms, you can share, you can like, you can turn on notifications, you can follow. And if you're on YouTube, you can join youtube membership with a button down here somewhere okay aside from that gang thank you very much for being here and i'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m pdt if you can make it for another gaming stream the last one we're going to do show you my gaming collection or on sunday for a comic book reading bye everyone <laughs>